Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going down to the jumps and building a new line. This is episode 8, I think. So, yeah, where I've currently built the first drop-off, um, not the drop, not the roll-in, but the drop-off, um, we're now going to go straight and make some new jumps and have a little split section where you go one way or another way. So, yeah, let's head down there. I'll explain it all once we're down there and we can start building. So guys, I am now down at the track. Please do ignore my hair. It's I'm not having a good hair day today, but yeah. The drop in obviously drops down here. You come round here and currently you hit a berm to where the jumps were before I made the drop in. So instead of coming round here, what we're gonna do now is come through here. There's gonna be a jump here. Like these are all going to be long racer jumps, you're going to land in here where all this wood is because we did cut down a tree here. So we've got a lot of firewood down here ready for when my shed is done and we can have some fires in camp down here, just ride all weekend long. And then there's this landing that was sort of just a jump from where I had my pit bike track here. So we're going to have a long jump that lands here and then a take off clear the gap and land in here which is then why right, because all of this is downhill I want us to come down here come down here hit a long jump and jump over the current pit bike step down so you'd come along here with a lot of speed have a lip here near enough where that is clear this and land where all of that stuff is so we're obviously gonna have to move all of that stuff out the way and then we'll have a bit few more bits through there and then the plan obviously because you're gonna end up over there the plan is to build a pump track so that you can pump the whole way back so yeah today's video is sort of just getting this line ready for building we need to move all of this wood out of the way and yeah, just get all this wood out of the way and prep it all for some jumps and then I'm going to ride the drop in hopefully today because it is a lot drier. So, yeah, so the first plan is to get rid of all of this wood and then we'll do the drop in. So, yeah. Obviously all this wood will be moved eventually. It is just going to be piled up here for now so that we can access through here. But yeah, this pile is just going to be used as our firewood. So once we've got the shed built over there and got the campsite set up, we can have some fires with wood that's already ready to burn. So yeah, I'm going to put all of this here for now. And then once that is set up and we've got our fires, we can come over here and get some of this wood. So yeah, let's move all this out of the way put it there and then get ready to clear all of this out. As you can see, I have sort of cleared a path now. So we'll be coming from the drop off down there, straight over here, there's gonna be a jump about in line with that tree. And then you'll come through here, have a jump around here and jump into that old jump that used to be there. So yeah, we've sort of cleared this up as much as I can now. So we need to now go over to where this berm currently is and dig that out because obviously we don't want to be jumping over a berm so yeah let's start digging that out I'm sort of moving this current berm into another berm so that we can come down with too much speed from that drop in you can sort of rail it round there and hit the new jump so yeah this, this new jump line I think is going to be a good one because they're not going to be tall ones, they're going to be really long ones, big old gaps, so, yeah.
So guys, I have just put all of this dirt from the previous berm where it came round here. It now comes, it's sort of like a double berm and then you go up there. So I'm gonna rake the, the whole drop off and hopefully we can get enough speed to do this drop off. So yeah, let's quickly rake it all and then try and send this drop off. So I have just cleared up all round of the drop in and everything. So now I'm gonna head up and hopefully send this drop in. I don't have my helmet again, which I know I should have my helmet. I have been at the Duttons all weekend as well and I did forget to grab it. But yeah, if I can't do the drop in, then I am still gonna go down this hill and round the new berm and see how it all feels. So yeah, I might do that to start with anyway and then send the drop in. So guys, I can't ride this. Uh, this. This bike just doesn't work and it really, it's starting to annoy me now. I've been trying to ride these jumps for three episodes and I haven't been able to because of this bike. The cranks and the derailleur, it's something to do with that. It, it won't change gear and then when it is in gear, it clicks and skips teeth and everything. I've had enough with this bike. Um, so I'm not gonna be riding this bike again until I fix it. I'm going to be putting the chain on my jump bike and getting this down here because I put so much work into all of the jumps and then I can't ride them so it's just um, it's quite annoying so yeah unfortunately this video isn't going to be a very long one but that is due to the bike I was planning on riding all of the jumps today but the bike just won't work so yeah I'm going to head up now and go and sort my jump bike out but I won't film any of that so that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching.